Many people may think of a warm up as bending and stretching before a workout, but there's more to it. A proper warm up should include dynamic activity that uses the muscles you'll be exercising. Get the blood flowing, get your heart pumping, get your core temperature up, and then you'd be more ready and more receptive to a good workout. A correct warm up will set the stage for the rest of the workout. Exercising with cold muscles would be like trying to stretch a frozen rubber band. Well, what happens if you pull that rubber band out of the freezer and try to stretch it all the way out? It's going to break, okay? But if you get that rubber band out, warm it up, you know, um, and then start to slowly stretch it out, then you'll be fine with that. Dynamic stretching during the warm up is just as important as static stretching during the cool down, and both should be done every time you exercise. A lot of times people will wait till uh, till that soreness sets in before they try to start stretching, and at that point, it's really it's too far gone. You're warmed up enough once you start sweating and have full range of muscle movement. Some people it takes uh, just five, six minutes or so to get warmed up real good. Some people it takes 10 to 15. It all depends on the individual. Do you have a health or wellness question? Email me at mkendall at wfxl.com. Melanie Kendall, Fox 31 News.